Good morning everyone. Welcome back to grade 3 mathematics class. I hope you finished all the activities that we mentioned in the previous class. You can take the pictures and send us once you have completed the activities. So today we will talk about rounding of numbers. What do you mean by rounding of numbers? Suppose one day you went for a movie. The next day your friend is asking you how many people were present in the theater? How will you answer them? You will say there were about or there were around 50 people or 100 people, right? So you will say an approximate number or rounded off number. It is not the actual number but it will be close to the actual number. This is called rounding of numbers. So rounding of numbers will make them simpler and easier to do the calculations. So let's see how we can round off numbers to the nearest 10. Rounding off to the nearest 10 means you are changing the number to the nearest possible multiple of 10. Let's see the steps now. So if you are rounding off to the nearest 10, you have to check the digits in the ones place. So if the ones digit is less than 5, that is if it is either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, you have to change the ones digit to 0 and keep the other digits same. If the ones digit is 5 or more than 5, that is if it is either 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, you have to add 1 to the tens digit and change the ones digit to 0 and all the other digits also should remain the same. Let's see that with an example. Here the first number is 12. Let's round off 12 to the nearest 10. So here the rounding digit is tens. So we have to check the digits in the ones place. So in the ones place the digit here is 2 which is less than 5. So let's change 2 to 0 and keep the other digit same. So 12 rounded off to the nearest 10 equals 10. Let's see the second number 199. Here the digit in the ones place is 9 which is more than 5. So we have to add 1 to the tens digit and change the ones digit to 0. So that makes this number here it is 0. Adding 1 to the tens digit will make it 9 plus 1 10. So 0 comes here then the carry forward 1 comes here. So this becomes 200. So 199 rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you 200 which is the nearest multiple of 10 in this numbers case. Now let's see how we can round off a number to the nearest 100. It means we are changing the number to the nearest multiple of 100. Let's see the steps. If you are rounding it off to the nearest 100, you have to check the digit in the tens place. Here the rounding digit is 100. So you have to check the digit to the right of the rounding digit. Here it will be the tens digit. So if the tens digit is less than 5, that is if it is either 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4, you have to change both the tens and ones to 0 and all the other digits will remain the same. And if the tens digit is 5 or more than 5, you have to add 1 to the hundreds digit and change both tens and ones to zeros. Let's see examples. Look at this number 504. Let's change this 504 to the nearest 100. Here the rounding digit is the hundreds digit because we are rounding off to the nearest 100. So we have to check the digit to the right of the rounding digit which is the tens place. Here in the tens place the number is 0. So the number in the hundreds place will not change. So and the digit in the tens and ones place will be changed to 0. So that makes this number 0, 0, 5. So 504 rounded to the nearest 100 will give you 500. In the next case, here the digit in the tens place is 5. So we have to add 1 to the hundreds place. So and change the tens place and 
ones place to zeros. So, that will make this one 0, 0, 9 plus 1 is 10. So, I am carrying forward 1 here will make it 2000. So, this rounded off to the nearest 100 gives 2000. I hope this is clear to you. We will do one activity now. All of you please take page number 13 in your textbook and go through the topic rounding of numbers. Then you have to do question number 1 of exercise 1.8 in page number 14. You can pause the video, finish the activity and come back. I hope you have done that exercise. Now let us check the answers. So, in question 1, round off to the nearest 10, the first digit is 13. So, in 13, the 1's digit is 3 which is less than 5. So, let us change that to 0 and the 10's digit remains the same. So, the answer is 10 here. Here, the answer is 20. In 27, the 1's digit is more than 5. So, we have to add 1 to the 10's place. So, that will make 27, 30 this case the answer is 40 and for question E the answer is 70. In F it is a 3 digit number in that case also let us check the digit in the 1's place here also it is more than 5. So, we have to add 1 to the 10's digit. So, that will make it 130 here 410 here 320, here 1920 and the last one 2710. I hope your answers are correct. Now let us do question number 2. You can pause the video, finish the exercise and come back. I hope you have finished that question. Now let us check the answers. The first question A 156 rounded off to the nearest 100 will give you 200, 178 200, 412 will give you 400, 386 rounded off will give you 400. Question E 907 rounded off to the nearest 100 will be 900. Question F 1128 the answer is 1100. Question G 1280 the answer is 1300, 2803 rounded off will give you 2800, 4990 will give you 5000 and 7690 rounded off to the nearest 100 will give you 7700. I hope your answers are correct. So, if you are done with that question let us move on to the next question. Please finish the question numbers 3. 2, 6. You can pause the video, finish the questions and come back. I hope you finished writing the answers. Now, let us check the answers. Question number 3. There are 1468 toy cars in a factory. Round it off to the nearest 100. So, here the number is 1468. We are asked to round it to the nearest 100. So, let us check the digit in the tens place. It is 6 which is more than 5. So, let us add 1 to the digit in the hundreds place. So, that will make this number 0, 0, 5. So, the answer is 1500. Now, now let us see the next question. Here, there are 1252 ice cream cones in a shop. Round it off to the nearest 10. So, the number here is 1252. We have to round it off to the nearest 10. So, in that case we have to check the digit in the 1's place. So, here the 1's digit is 2 which is less than 5. So, let us change that to 0 and no change in the 10's digit. So, so 1252 rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you 1250. Now, the next question. List all the numbers which when rounded off to the nearest 10 become 240. So, to get 240, when rounded off to the nearest 10 to get 240, the digit in the 
tenth place could either be 4 or 3. If the digit in the if the digit in the tens place is 3 after rounding up for it become to 4 for it to become 4 the digit in the ones place should be either 5 6 7 8 or 9 so these are possible numbers when rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you 240 now let's th let's take the case where the digit in the tens place is 4. In this case, for the digit in the tens digit to remain 4, the digit in the ones place should either be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, in this case, the possible numbers are 241, 242, 243 and 244. So, these are the possible numbers which when rounded off to the nearest 10 will give you 240. I hope your answers are correct. Now, let us move on to the next question. Write down the smallest and the greatest number which when rounded off to the nearest 100 becomes 500. So, to get 500, when it is rounded off to the nearest 100. If it is the smallest number, the digit in the hundreds place should be 4 and the possible digit in the tens place should be 5. All the possible numbers which when rounded off to the 100, if it is 4, all the numbers will be 0 to 9. So, but in this case we are asked to find the smallest number. Here in these cases the smallest digit in the tens place is 5. So, let us take the case where the digit in the tens place is 5 and the smallest possible digit in the ones place should be 0. So, this is the smallest number which when rounded off to the nearest 100 will give you 500. Now, let us take the case of the largest possible number. So, in that case the digit in the hundreds place will be 5 itself and here the 5 to remain 5 itself the digit in the tens place should either be 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. The largest among these digit is 4. So, in that case the combination will be 5, 4 and in the ones digit or in the ones place the number could be either 0 to 9. The largest among the digits is 9. So, in this case it will be 9. So, this is the largest possible number which when rounded off to the nearest 100 will give you 500. I hope your answers are correct. So, today we talked about rounding of numbers. I hope the concepts are clear to you. Now, as an activity for the day, you can do a maths lab activity which is given in page number 14 of your textbook. Please go through that and do accordingly. And in page number 15, you can see the heading fun with maths. I can see this picture in that. And there is a box down there. And now, some numbers are given and you have to write down the numbers rounded off to the nearest 10 and nearest 100 in some cases. Uh, the box is given there. You can find the same numbers or number tags in this picture. A color code is given alongside and you have to color this picture according to the color code. Once you are done with that activity, please take a picture and do send us. So, I hope the concepts are clear to you. We will meet in the next class. Until then, bye.